Hello everyone, I'm Gorka here and welcome back to Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So this is actually going to be a re-upload of the second half of the third playthrough since the first time I uploaded it, it has been blocked on YouTube in all countries because of copyrighted music for about two years now. So I'm actually going to try and re-upload it again, but of course there's no sound so I'm going to put different songs over and hopefully, fingers crossed this time, it won't get copyrighted. I'll also be doing as best of a job to recreate the commentary I did the first time around because quite frankly I don't have the raw file and I don't really remember what I said back in the day. So we left off beating the zombie hydra so next up we will have the cosmic monolith which is where we are right now. So like last time same thing just gonna put some music over it and hopefully you guys enjoy it and finish off this third playthrough. Hopefully, hopefully it helps. So that was Cosmic Monolith. Not that bad actually, as far as I remember. As long as you have good electricity gear, good electric swords, and some dark resistance, I think you just get healed by it. Also, I apologize for the potato quality, but when I re downloaded this video so I could work with it, that's the best quality I could get, unfortunately. Anyway, the next boss we will be taking on, from what it looks like, is the Battle Mountain bosses. So let's head over to Armored Oak. Alright, so here we are at Armored Oak. Now, like I said before, I will be trying to replicate the commentary as best as I can to my knowledge of what it was, but honestly, I recorded these videos about two years ago, so really hard on me to actually remember what I said. But anyway, let's fight Armored Oak, see how he is.
Alright, so that was Armadoke. Again, not too bad, especially when you're on the third playthrough. You have all these stat boosting items, and since your characters are about level 50, at this point you've got all the permanent stat boosting. If you give your character enough of it, it just gives you like plus 70% each level up, which is just pretty staggering. It really helps, fighting the dark players especially. Anyway, moving on to the next boss, which is going to be the Holy Golem, the upgraded version of the Crystal Golem or Diamond Golem. No, this is the Diamond Golem, what am I saying? The previous one was Crystal Golem. Jesus, it's been so long since I've played Epic Battle Fantasy 4. Anyway, let's get right into the fight. Alright, so that was the Diamond Golem. For this fight, you mainly want to have a lot of Holy and Siphon resistances, because I know especially the Diamond Golem likes to Siphon you, and when it gets low on health, it starts using Genesis to try and save itself. But if you have good Holy resistance, those attacks are pretty much pitiful. Anyway, moving on to the next boss, we have Praetorian Mark II. Now this one, this one's pretty challenging, simply because, from what I remember, he's weak to water, and I don't know if it's wind as well. Might be Rainbow Rafflesia that's weak to wind only, but he's weak to water, and there's not a lot of spells that are powerful, like water-wise, so... This one's gonna be a challenge, hopefully you're gonna guys enjoy, and yeah, see you after the battle.
All right, so that was Praetorian Mark II, yeah, who uh, I was correct is weak to water mainly. And that was probably the toughest boss so far in the Battle Mountain we found. The fourth one though, however, which we're about to get to, is going to be even harder because she has one weakness and it's wind. And wind, there's not a lot of spells that Natalie can use which are powerful. The best you can do with Mal, I believe, is what I did. I'm just trying to predict what I did, I'm going to do in the future is use wind slash or legend with the wind sword it's going to give him pyre which is going to reduce his accuracy so just like stop boosting his accuracy just so it stays high just so we can keep hitting it and make sure to kill off all the flowers when she does her rainbow of death attack then your character's going to die unless they have morale because it's just so powerful there's nothing you can do about it so rainbow of is a pretty challenging fight let's get into it <laughs> So that's all the upgraded bosses down. Now we get to walk into the lair of the dark players. Oh boy. Fighting them on epic mode is no easy feat. Definitely. All four of the characters have special traits which you have to watch out for. And the first one we will be taking on is Dark Anna. Dark Anna is probably not... It's probably the second easiest. The hardest one will, will, is Dark Mad clearly. But yeah, we'll start from left to right. So we'll take on Dark Anna first. She's weak to Holy, like all of them are. And each of them have, has a second weakness. For Anna, it's going to be fire because I guess poison and grass and plants, something to do with that. But yeah, have a lot of death resistance, a lot of doom resistance, a lot of dark resistance. And for Anna especially, some poison resistance as she can pull off some limit breaks. Like the poison one you have, I forgot what it's called. All right, let's get right into the Dark Anna fight.
that was Dark Anna. Like I said, she's not too bad. The next one we have to face, however. Oh boy, Dark Matt. The best strategy for Dark Matt is poison him to wear him down and because he has ridiculously high defense, only Natalie should be using magic attacks and then Matt might as well just keep buffing and put in poison because they'll do no damage because as the game says many many times, Matt's skull is as is thick Matt's skull is as thick as a stone or rock or whatever. Anyway, into the fight.
Alright, so with Matt down, that's the worst of the boss rush. Uh, that's the worst of the dark players, but we still can't relax. We still have Lance. Lance is pretty terrifying, but moving on, in my opinion, to the easiest fight, which is Natalie. Natalie is similar to Matt, except she is pretty bulky on the magic defense, so this time around, Natalie won't be attacking. Just attack with Matt and Anna and it shouldn't be too bad. Make sure to have resistance to ice and fire as well as she likes casting supernova and avalanche and all sorts of other spells. Let's go! Alright, with Nat down, there was only one. We have Lance, which in my opinion is the second hardest, because he calls in defenders, and defenders are annoying, and he keeps calling them in. Also, I forgot to mention, but the Dark players get limit breaks after you take down a third of their health, and they're pretty powerful, so make sure to break with like, um, auto life and morrow and stuff. Attack him, I think he's weak to, I don't actually know what his second weakness is, to be honest. Just mainly attack with Holy because Holy is more stronger than the other spell you can use anyway. So, last of the fights, we have Lance. Let's get to him.
All right, so with Dark Clowns down, there only remains the final boss on the third playthrough. We've managed to kill off every single mini boss, every single main boss, every single Dark Player boss. And from what it looks like, what I tried to do in the video here is try to get the 30 million damage medal, which I ended up getting in another play, another episode. So I'm, I just, I'm just going to cut this part out here. Which is what I was trying to do on a green bush here and skip straight to Godcat. So Godcat, same as usual. You probably gonna be have to having to switch weapons and clothes between fights. For the destroyer, make sure to have dark weapons, holy resistance clothes. Then for the destroyer, it's the reverse. And then when the two of them come out, destroy the destroyer since you already have the equipment for it, and then finish off the creator. And that should do it. Yep, yeah, that should do it for Godcat. You've beaten her twice, so you should be able to do it a third time. Good luck, guys.
And so you ha there you have it, the final chapter, the third playthrough is finished, all on epic mode. To be honest, God Cat the third time round isn't even that hard because of how much you've over leveled and how much stat boosting you've increased because of your permanent stat boosts, like honeycomb, bacon and stuff. So what I proceeded to do later on in this video is try to get the 30 million damage medal once again, which I couldn't do because I think I leveled up a few more times and then got it in part 49, which is the last one, which is going to be kind of funny because I'm going to upload this, which is going to be a re-upload after part 49. But hopefully people will be able to watch this now. It won't be copyrighted. Hopefully the song choices are a bit more lenient. I was being careful picking from create from um picking from what's the name picking from authors that probably have copyrighted music so hopefully this helps you guys out finishes it off and it's kind of fitting to try and fix this video considering we are almost here with epic battle fantasy 5 it is almost here 90 percent done who knows it may be a month maybe two months to go and then damn i'm looking forward to it definitely will be here definitely gonna do a blind playthrough really looking forward to it because yeah as you can see it's the last medal i need to do so hopefully this montage here helped you guys out as it was requested for me to try and fix the video yesterday so thank you very much for motivating me to do it i actually managed to get around to doing it and fixing it and it was quite fun honestly it wasn't even that hard i just had to figure out a few ways to try and download the youtube video and now edited it and hopefully this is a good final piece of work so that's it for me for now, now Epic Battle Fantasy 4 hopefully truly comes to a close. No more errors with copyrighted music and blocked videos. Hopefully this is it and this has been Dom Gorka. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and till next time, stay tuned.